Hi, my name is Doug Swank. I'm an applications engineer here at Trilithic, and I'm going to be talking today about the XFTP TPNA 1000. This is a great cable signal level meter, primarily designed for the installer. It does have some service functions, but it has all the features that an installer would use in his day-to-day -day operations. It does have a DOCSIS 2 modem. It does have a full QAM features, a full spectrum analyzer, as well as limit test, channel plan scan, and the technician can document his results. It has a, a full complement of auto tests. Okay, let's talk about the meter itself. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you is about the, the case, the hardware of the meter. It does have a, a plastic with a rubber shock resistant bumper. It has a replaceable F connector at the top. Um, there's two ways to connect this meter to the network, either through the cable modem or it does have an RJ45 port on the side. It also has a USB port for file transfer, firmware upgrade. Um, you can see it has a nice color LCD. Um, the keypad is alphanumeric and it has a scroll wheel to allow you to jump between the different menus or the different icons on the menus. If we look at the, the menu setup, there's four main menus on the TPNA 1000. The first one is the install menu, and that contains all the functions that an installer would use um, in his day-to-day -day operations. The next menu would be the service menu, which has some additional functions, um, typically not used by an installer, but, but they might be. Also some functions that a service technician may use. The third menu is the setup menu. This is where you initially configure the meter, um, set it up for the network, enter your channel plans, things like that. And then the utility menu has some additional options that we include on the TPNA 1000. Um, battery, life, uh, storage, um, memory leftover. It does have a qualm source um, on this menu, also temperature. The first icon on the install menu is level. This uh, simply gives you the channel level. If it's an analog channel, it will give you the video level, the audio level, and the delta difference between them. If it's a, a digital channel, it will give you the power level of that channel. It also has the capability to do single frequency and dual audio. The next icon is the QAM icon. This is a full featured QAM analyzer with the constellation. It will give you the MER, BER pre and post, and it also has a nice function called QAM EVS that allows you to essentially look underneath the digital channel if you've got, uh, say, an off air carrier interfering with the signal that's bleeding into your wiring. The next function on the install menu is called return path, and, and Simply put, this is just a preset spectrum analyzer that allows you to check existing wiring in a home for ingress. Um, the technician would go up to the house and uh, connect the meter to the ground block and look at the wiring inside the house. If there's inter any energy on there, it could mean there's damaged wiring, uh, uh, an unterminated tap, that kind of thing. It's a real quick test and it's a really handy tool to uh, allow the technician to make a quick decision. Do I use the existing wiring or do I just run my own? The next icon is a limit test. This essentially is a full channel plan scan that uh, gives you pass or fail results. Are all of the channel levels within the limits that you want them to be at that particular location? The next icon is tilt. Um, not commonly used by an installer, it could be. Um, uh, four to sixteen selectable channels. This just gives you an overall view of the the uh, channel plan flatness. Do you have an extreme tilt or not at the uh, at the house? The next few icons all relate to the the online capability. CM register and CM info. CM register allows you to connect the cable modem to the network, get online. CM info will tell you the, the uh, specs of that connection. What's your downstream level, what's your downstream SNR, and what's your launch level, what's your upstream level. The TPNA 1000 does have 
uh, ping function. Um, it also has a throughput option. The throughput option uh, is FTP based. It requires some setup at the, the customer end. And it has a, a web browser. Um, typically the web browser is used just to verify that you're connected to the outside network. Another function that we've just added is trace route. Um, if you're having an issue getting to a particular site, the trace route can tell you where it's being stopped at. Finally, on the install menu is auto test. I am going to go into this. In the auto test function, you do have the option of selecting a level, individual channel levels, a spectrum, tilt, limit, qualm, which will measure your MER and BER, and then cable modem test. This, these steps are, generally speaking, all the steps that an installer would need to verify his work at a customer's home. You can save this data to a specific uh, uh, work order, if you like, um, specific file name, and all the test results are easily downloaded to a USB flash drive. Let's take a look at the service menu. Some additional functions that the TPNA 1000 has. The first is a full channel plan scan. A technician might use this to check for um, issues in the existing cabling. For example, if uh, the lower frequencies look fine, but he starts to see the upper frequencies attenuate a little bit or roll off, that could be an indication that there's a, a kink in the cable. Um, on the other hand, if he's got some uh, dropouts in the lower frequencies, maybe some channel levels are really low or not there, that could be an indication there's water in the cable. It's a handy tool for troubleshooting. The next icon on the service menu is a full featured spectrum analyzer. 5 to 1 gig uh, adjustable resolution, uh, adjustable bandwidth. Uh, it's a nice feature that you typically don't find on a moderately priced meter. Individual frequencies can be measured as well. It does have a hum function as well as carrier to noise. And then finally FM modulation. If we look at the third menu, the setup menu, there's two icons. The initial setup, this gives you the firmware version. I'll just briefly go through some of these tabs. This is where you would tell the TPNA 1000 how to connect to the network, either with the cable modem, with the RJ45. Um, one of the nice features about this meter is it does have a CM to RJ45 function. What that means is, if your cable modem is connected to the network, you can plug a customer's computer into this meter and use this meter as a cable modem. It's a handy troubleshooting tool. The meter does have the ability to store the technician's name and the company, and this is tied to the auto test results. Some of the other functions, um, you can set your hum parameters, 50, 60 hertz, um, set your limits for your scans, you can upgrade firmware, and then finally um, the channel tab is where you would create and edit your channel plans. The final menu is the utility menu which um, essentially contains other functions on the TPNA 1000 that uh, really don't fit any of the other menus. The first one is QAM source. This meter has the ability to generate a QAM carrier, a single frequency carrier, and it also has the ability to sweep that carrier from 5 to 65 megahertz. The battery icon simply tells you how much voltage is left in the meter. This meter will last uh, typically about four to five hours. 
I'm sorry, this meter will will last typically about six hours on a full charge. Charge time takes about four to five hours. Does have a voltmeter in it so that you can verify if there's any AC voltage on the coax. Does record the internal temperature and then it'll give you an idea of what uh, how much memory you have left in the the unit for data storage. I think overall this is a, a, a great meter at, at a great price for smaller MSOs, contractors. Um, it does everything that the typical installer would need it to do um, to verify his work, to make sure that before he leaves the customer's house all the levels are where they want them to be. Um, the launch level for the modem is fine and this will help reduce truck rolls and uh, increase customer satisfaction.